Hi there, this is Nils with Learn to DIY, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to install a light switch, a smart or Wi Fi light switch for a three way light switch. Now, a three way light switch is basically any light or set of lights that's controlled by two different switches. So let's jump in. In the case of this light switch, this one here on the right is a three-way light switch, which is controlled, it shares control between this switch and another one across the room. This one is just a standard light switch. This is the only switch that controls the light for the outside. So I'm going to take this off, I'm going to replace this one with just a standard decor light switch, and then I'm going to replace this one with a smart Wi-Fi light switch. So the first thing I need to do is take off the plate, and then we'll take a look inside, and I'll show you why I'm choosing the type of kit that I've chosen. Alright, so I've just flipped the power off so there's no juice here, which is great. I uh, flipped that off with the circuit breaker. And what I'm going to be installing is a, one of these TP-Link smart Wi-Fi light switches for three-way. And the reason I'm doing this is because I've discovered after doing some research that this one in particular, it actually has two of the exact same light switches in it, which means you can actually just use one of them per three-way light switch. So, for example, if I install it right here, this is the master unit of the two three-way light switches, then I'm going to be able to control the lights. If I flick the other one on the other side of the room off, it'll just be the opposite of this one. This one will recognize that it's on or off because of this, what's called a traveler wire that goes between the two switches. So I can actually use this one pair of, of light switches to do two separate sets of three-way light switches. So it's kind of more bang for your buck. Um, I found that this is probably the most uh, cost efficient way to do this is just to use this one switch. So I'll put a link to this in the description if you want to check it out. But this has worked really well at my house and I can just use one kit to do two sets. First things first, we've got to take off our face plate. Now with that off, um, we, I'm just testing again to make sure everything's off, which is good. I'm going to remove, I'll start with the three way here. Remove these two screws from it. And then just to be extra sure, I'm just going to tap this little voltage meter here, this little tester, make sure there's no juice here so I'm, I'm all set. So as I pull this out, you'll notice a few things. So every one of these is going to look a little bit different. Um, what you see inside your box might look different than mine. Now one thing you want to keep in mind, over here you've got two wires that are typically called your um, traveler wires. And so they're usually both the same colored screw. I've got brass screws, you kind of see here, let's see if you can see it, there we go. I've got a brass screw on either side of these. And then I've got a black screw which is a separate one over here. Alright, so now the next thing I'm going to need to do with, with mine at least, untwist these a bit, is to um, expose some of the bare wire. So I'll use some wire strippers for that. Alright, so now that I've removed the old switch, I've identified a couple of things. So one, I've got my two lines here, and these ones, if you look on the new switch, there's uh, what are called travelers here. And so the travelers are the two that were the same color screw like we just saw. So those are going to be the two that go down here at the bottom. This other one that was already connected to the other switch is going to be what goes to our line or our load right here on this one. And so I'm going to cover or put this black one up here. And then this other one coming out is a neutral. And so we need to have our neutral exposed in the box. And so that neutral in this case is this set of white wires that are all connected back here. Um, usually with light switches the way it works is you need to close a circuit and so in this case for example all of the whites are already connected both the power coming in and then the power going up to the lights those are all connected so the only thing the switch does is connects or disconnects the power basically so in this case it's these these lines here to this one here it'll either connect those or disconnect them which will turn the lights on or off accordingly so i want to be able to connect my neutral here um, to these white ones and I've got, in this case, everyone's a little bit different. I've got a push-in terminal here, and so this is not meant for this type of gauge that comes on here, so I'm going to actually just do a little pigtail thing. And so I grabbed this little um, smaller white wire here from another Romex, and I can just push that in right here. So I hear that snap in, and that's in there really good. 
and then I'm gonna just connect it like this with the wire cap. So I'll connect those two together. Let me do that now. And one thing I'm gonna do, just because it always makes me feel a little more comfortable with the wiring in the box, is I'm gonna wrap this with electrical tape so that these screws can't touch the ground or anything else causing a short. I'm gonna do that now. Okay, so everything's connected. Um, in between here, I went ahead and put a, on a Decora switch on this other side so these two will match with one set of Decora, uh, one Decora plate. So while this is open and out, I'm gonna go ahead and test it. I'm gonna flip the power back on and make sure that everything's working before I close it all up. I'm making sure everything looks safe in here and I'll give it a test. Okay, I got lights. That works, and then this one is outside. Yep, that one's working too. Okay, so I'm gonna turn it back off and then put everything back in appropriately and then I'll walk you through quickly the Wi-Fi setup. Okay. All right, so face plates on, this is looking good. The way the smart Wi-Fi light switches work, it just totally depends on the brand. This, on this one, the TP-Link, that's just a bottom push button. There's no toggle, it doesn't toggle up and down like this one does. It's just, you push that bottom one to do it. So let's flip the juice back on and make sure that we're still in good shape here. Now the next thing we're gonna do is go into the Casa app. Go into Casa, and I've got a few of the lights set up already. So I'm gonna add a new light and add a device. And this is gonna be a smart three-way switch. Okay, so I'm gonna say yes, I have. So check the light status, and it's going between orange and, or amber and green, so that's great. So I say next, and it's gonna have me connect um, to that Wi-Fi. So I should see one if I go out to my Wi-Fi here. Let's see what I've got. Okay, there's the TP-Link. So I'm connecting to that now. Okay, I'm connected, so I'll go back here. Checking status. Okay, and start configuration. Okay, so I'm gonna name this. All right, next. And it wants me to pick just an icon, basically. And I'll go with one of these and save. And I don't know if you saw back there, you can actually take a picture of the lights if you want to. Scanning the network, so right now it should be checking for, yes, my Wi-Fi. It has to connect to a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi connection, which I've got here. And then I'm gonna say okay on that. Okay, one down, one to go. This is the part where we actually get to fake our way through it because I'm only choosing to use one of these to control both lights. I'm just gonna say start, next, next, done. And looks like there's an update. So I'll run that and then we're good to go. So now I should be able to power these as soon as this update is finished. I'll be able to power these from my phone and then I'll show you how to connect that to the Amazon Echo so I can use my voice and set it up with routines as well. Okay, we've got an update complete. So hit done. And now dining area is there. And ta-da. Oops. I can just hit the power button or I can come into it and hit it in here. There's all these little uh, schedules, timer, away. There's these different things that I can do. And I can actually see a summary of its use and see how long these lights are being left on and different things like that. But what I'm gonna do is head on out to my Alexa app. And then go to switches. And look, it's already there. Dining area is on there. So I can switch that on or off. Okay, so we should be all set now. So I've installed the three-way smart Wi-Fi light switch from TP-Link. I've configured it in the Casa app, and then I checked it in the Amazon Alexa app to make sure that it's showing up there and working properly. I've also added it to a group that I have of lights inside called Inside Lights. And so now I should be able to say, Alexa, turn off the inside lights. Okay, so now all my lights just turned off. Alexa, turn on the dining area light. That's the one I just installed here. So there's the one. Alexa, turn on the inside lights. 
and now they all turn on. Pretty sweet. So that's all set and it's pretty cool to watch that happen and have that all connected to my smart home. So if you're interested in smart homes in general or home improvement, woodworking, different things like that, that's what this channel is all about. Feel free to check out some of the other videos I have on the channel and subscribe if you're interested. And then you can also learn more about how to do two-way light switches and I've got a separate video on how to do a whole smart home basically for the best price possible and the most uh, user-friendly way possible. Also, if you're interested in seeing what's going on behind behind the scenes and the projects I'm working on in between videos that I make for YouTube, you can check out what I'm doing on Instagram and at Facebook at learn to diy and you can just kind of keep up with what we're doing there. So again, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one.